Always on. This is News 11 at 10. Well, good evening, everyone. I hope you have had a wonderful day today. It was very calm, peaceful, but very dreary outside. Definitely was a day that you kind of just want to sit inside and not really do anything. And if you're heading on out for the rest of the evening, well, it's going to be fairly cool. Again, another night that we really don't have to worry about much. A low cloud shelf going to keep us fairly mild in terms of the temperatures. Currently 42 degrees winds out of the west at roughly zero to five miles an hour, depending on where it, you might be. But it, Either way, it's going to be pretty calm. Again, like I said, you don't really have to worry about much for the night tonight. Temperatures aren't going to be changing all that much. That low cloud shelf is going to set in. And again, it's going to keep a lot of the heat, the daytime heating that we had kind of in the atmosphere for the day today. So by around 4 a.m., you're still going to be seeing temperatures that you saw roughly around midnight. So cloudy skies pretty much are going to be the story for the night tonight. But things are going to be changing over the coming days and into the day tomorrow. You'll start to clear up a little bit into the morning, into the day. Plenty of sunshine, some passing clouds here and there. It's absolutely beautiful. Still quite chilly though temperatures down to the low 40s upper 30s depending on where you might be around that 10 p.m. mark again a very quiet and cool day so if you are doing anything it's going to be very nice but by monday morning you'll be waking up again another chilly day but it will start to change a little bit we'll see the weather patterns start to shift especially out from the west some showers starting to pop up around that early afternoon march so we'll start to see some type of precipitation move in roughly afternoon so roughly between that two to four hour 2 to 4 p.m. hour to on Monday, we'll be watching for some showers, but the real storms really start to pick up after the 6 o'clock hour. That reminder, this is after, so this is showing around that 6 o'clock hour that some of these storms, heavy at times, are going to start moving in, but the real severe stuff is moving mainly into the overnight hours, so this is a time, time frame that we actually really worry about, but thankfully there's not too much daytime heating. It's not getting super hot during the day, which could help and could prevent a little bit of development in terms of the severe weather, so we're going to be keeping a very close eye on how hot it gets throughout the day. That will be a big determining factor on how severe these storms can actually get, especially areas south and along the I-20 corridor. That's what we're going to be watching out for. Mainly heavy rain and damaging winds, but we could be seeing possible tornadoes depending on, like I said, how hot it gets during the day, how much clearing there is during the day, and if we get a little bit rain ahead of this frontal boundary that's going to be swinging through. So there's a bunch of different factors and we'll be keeping you updated into the day tomorrow and into the day Monday, depending on what we might be seeing again Monday into Tuesday night. Like I said, overnight events are usually the most dangerous because you can't see anything that's going to be coming. So we'll be keeping a very close eye, but like I said, some of these storms can be severe. They're looking severe as of right now on the future cast and in a lot of different models, we're seeing a bunch of very strong storms. So this isn't something that you just have to wipe under the doormat. We're going to be watching this all very, very closely as we get very close into into Monday night into Tuesday morning. You want to have multiple ways on staying updated into that day as well. But here's a look at what we're kind of looking at right now. As of right now, we're in a level one and level two risk zone. Level two mainly for the area south and along the I-20 corridor. And uh, so we're going to be keeping your close eye. Tornadoes are possible, but the main threats are 60 mile an hour damaging winds or greater, to be honest with you, even into the marginal risk zone. That's really what we're watching out for. So just be keeping that in mind. Make sure you have ways of staying updated. We'll be keeping you updated into the day tomorrow where I'll have a more or even more detailed forecast for you coming up then. So make sure you tune back in tomorrow. Now, here's what we saw today. If you look very close, the high and low did not change really at all. The temperatures were pretty much stale across the day. 47 for a high, 46 for a low. Like I said, we really didn't go all that much anywhere, to be honest. It was a very calm day. And here's a look at your 10-day forecast at 10, sponsored by Meridian Mutual. You can see a Monday, the main day that we're watching out for, it, that's a severe threat, but it's mainly Monday night into Tuesday. So you do want to have multiple ways to stay updated. We'll clear up a little bit. Our next chance for some storms is Friday. We're